Father, thanks to you today for just an incredibly gorgeous day. We're so thankful for your creation. We're thankful for this place where uh, Olivia and Eric will create this incredible memory. Marriage is a gift from God, and that's exactly what you are. The book of James tells us every good and perfect gift comes from above. Well, mine did that. It also came from above my Instagram feed. <laughs> sliding into your DMs is more like sliding into home plate in the bottom of the ninth <laughs> inning in a tied game seven of the World Series. But you're not just a gift to me, you're a gift to Tucker as well. Watching the two of you together has done nothing more but solidify my decision in asking for your hand in marriage. Eric, I have dreamt of this day for as long as I can remember, and I can't believe it's here. Not many young girls dream about being a wife and a mother, but I did. Because of that desire from God, I stand here today fully prepared to enter this beautiful season of life and marriage hand in hand with you. So as your husband, and with God's help and guidance, I vow to lead our family with patience and understanding. I vow to be slow to anger and quick to listen. I vow to never take you for granted. I vow to remain faithful to you. You have not only made my dreams come true, you have far surpassed my wildest dreams or what I could have ever imagined for myself. And I cannot believe we're standing here today and I get to marry you. I vow to support you in your dreams and your goals. I vow to follow Ephesians 5 and to show you the same love Christ showed the church when he died for her. I vow to not only be the best wife I can be to you, but also the best mom I can be to Tucker and our future children. Seeing how great of a dad you are made me fall for you so much quicker. I vow to put God first in our relationship and to keep him there. I vow to show compassion. I couldn't think of a better partner to walk this life with and raise Tucker with. So I vow to cherish these things. And I vow all of these things to you until Christ returns and calls me home. I vow to laugh with you on our good days and cry with you on our bad days. I vow to respect, cherish, and love you. I vow to be faithful to you. I vow to put your needs above my own. I vow to pray for you every day and to be your number one cheerleader. I vow to laugh at your dad jokes even when they aren't that funny. <laughs> Most importantly, I vow to strive every day to keep Christ in the center of it all. I vow all of these things to you until Christ returns or calls me home. Tucker, I know that I was not there when you took your first breaths or your first steps. I may not have been there in the beginning, but I promise to never miss any more firsts with you. You have shown me that you don't have to birth a child to love them like your own. I know you didn't choose me, but I vow to choose you. Well, you've come before us, and you've come before God. You've expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've shown your love and affection by the joining of hands. You've made promises of faith and vows to each other. You've sealed them with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce that you are a husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God joins together, man cannot separate. You're ready, right? <laughs> Eric, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It's a great honor and privilege for me to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks.